melee. Wizard is one of the most fun and satisfying classes to play in Dark and Darker. But people always ask me, Kanabi, how do you make it look so easy? When I load into Raid as a wizard, I get absolutely booty blasted. Not only by other players, but the AI as well. What are you doing that I'm not? And that got me thinking. I should put out a multi-episode wizard training series to help educate all the young mages out there, teaching you everything you need to know, from the basics of how spells, stats, and gear work, to more complex PvP concepts like movement and positioning. We're going to do it all, but for our first episode, we're going to keep it simple and break down all the wizard spells. Let's get into it. The spells in Dark and Darker run off of a basic tier system. Tiers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, skipping over 5. The higher the spell tier, the more spell capacity you need to use that spell. One capacity per tier. Okay, let's start with the tier 1 spells. Ignite. Ignite sets the target's weapon on fire, dealing 5 additional magic damage and burning the enemy on hit. Ignite is classified as a fire spell and works with the perks Fire Mastery and Melt. This ability scales with the enchanted player's spell damage, not the original caster's. If you are not targeting anybody with this spell on cast, it will enchant your weapon instead. This spell has an illuminating effect and can be used as a pseudo torch if need be. Easy money, <laughs> dude! Easy! I'm the Wizard no. King! Sap. If hit, deals magic damage and burns the target for one second. Sap damage is relatively low and has a short to medium effective range but is basically hit scan, rewarding good aim without limiting your mobility much. This could be used to cut your opponent or chase them down depending on the situation. This spell is not considered a projectile and does not benefit from bonus headshot damage. Where'd he go? Light Orb conjures up a sphere of floating light on cast, brightly illuminating the surrounding area. This spell has no real combat applications, but can light up a room, revealing traps and players trying to hide in the shadows. I don't recommend wasting a spell slot in this ability, but it is a cool spell, and if you want to live your best life, go for it. Okay, so moving on to the tier 2 spells, starting with Ice Bolt. On hit, Ice Bolt deals magic damage and reducing the target's movement speed by 15% for one second. Ice Bolt is a slow moving, medium damage projectile that benefits from headshot damage. In my opinion, Ice Bolt's best application is chasing down running targets. Slow. Slows the target's movement speed by 40% for 2.5 seconds. This ability scales with debuff duration to increase its effectiveness. Slow's best application is to hinder a melee pusher trying to close the gap on you. Once slowed, you are safe to unload damaged spells without fear of them reaching that you. Is me. Okay, so moving on to the tier 3 spells, let's start with Haste. Haste's target gains a 14% action and movement speed bonus for 12 seconds. If you have no target, Haste will self cast on you. This ability scales with buff duration and is an essential tool in any wizard's kit. Whether you are hasting your frontline fighters to help them engage on the enemies, or buffing yourself so you could outrun your foes, taking haste is an absolute must. Then, take that reacher out, please. Done. I've got the clear. Ooh. Holy fuck! Magic missile fires up to ten homing missiles that deal 12 damage each. You must remain standing still while casting this spell, and moving will cancel the channel. This is considered an arcane spell and works with the perks Arcane Mastery and Arcane Feedback. Magic Missile is easily your highest DPS ability and you will use it to kill mobs and players alike. Magic Missile's best applications are sneaking up behind somebody and machine gunning them in the back before they notice, or spraying down a target trying to advance on your position. These missiles are classified as projectiles and benefit from headshot damage. These projectiles move very slow and I would classify its effective range to be short. Lightning Strike is shit, don't use it. But if you hate yourself and decide to use it, here's what the spell does. After 4 seconds, a bolt of lightning falls in the target area, dealing AoE spell damage. The charge time is not 4 seconds, the tooltip is misleading, it's closer to 2 seconds. You can use this spell if you want, 
but is very clunky and hard to use, and at the tier 4 slot, there are much better options. Speaking of better options in the tier 4 slot, let's talk about Fireball. Fireball shoots a projectile causing 30 direct damage and 20 splash damage to a target with a knockback effect to nearby targets. Fireball is classified as a fire spell and works with the perks Fire Mastery and Melt, and also benefits from headshot damage. Fireball is one of the strongest spells oh, in the I Wizard's these, kit, these. dealing huge nice. direct damage sure. and with its AoE you can cleave down entire squads if used correctly. Fireball has a medium to long effective range. The AoE on Fireball can hurt you bad, so I don't recommend using it at close range. Invisibility's target becomes invisible and gains a 10% movement speed bonus for 4 seconds. If you have no target for invisibility, it self casts. Invisibility is an arcane spell and benefits from arcane mastery and buff duration. This spell is one of the strongest in the wizard's kit. It can be used as an engage tool or to get yourself out of a bad situation. When used correctly, you can put your opponent's brain into the blender and really confuse them yeah, with this spell. Yeah, that's Chain Lightning is the only tier 6 wizard spell, and rightfully so, because this spell is an absolute nuke and should be reserved for Giga Chads only. Chain Lightning electrocutes the target, inflicting spell damage and chaining lightning bolts to nearby targets within a certain range. Chain Lightning chains up to 3 times and can hit you and your allies, so be careful when using this spell. When used correctly, you can get an entire enemy team him, to half rated. HP with one good cast, but you have to be smart about it. Chain Lightning has a short to medium effective range, meaning you have to be close to your target to hit them, putting yourself at risk. This spell is very fun to use with a high Star risk, fighter. high reward style. Oh, you hit play. me so hard with that! Okay, so that's it for the wizard spells. There are many different ability combinations you could use, so get out there and start slinging spells and figure out what works for you. I truly believe all the wizard spells are viable, except lightning strike. That shit is hot garbage. But hey, maybe one of you young mages can prove me wrong. That's all I got for this episode. Make sure you don't skip class and catch me on the next one. Peace out. Why did it open on that?